Top of the morning, everybody. Welcome to another video. Sounds like a Civil War battlefield out here because we got the boomers out in the sunflower field. If you watched the last couple videos, you know that we were doing barley harvest. In the last video, we had a little bit of a problem where there was a rain coming. We weren't sure if we'd get all the barley up. Good news, we got all the barley up the day after the video was filmed. Video was filmed on a Tuesday. Wednesday, we finished getting all the barley work till nine or 10 that night, getting it all up. And good thing we did because it rained on Thursday during the day quite early. Around noon, it started coming down. So yesterday was kind of a rainy day, not a lot of farm work done, but today we're back on the grind, back farming, back doing some little odd jobs and hopefully starting wheat harvest pretty soon. Yesterday, before the rain came, we cleaned out the combines. We cleaned out the semis, the grain cart, to make sure that it was all ready for wheat so the two grains didn't mix in there. So now we're pretty much ready for wheat harvest whenever it's dry enough from this rain. Not sure if we'll go today because it is pretty cool and kind of damp out. Not really the windy, hot, sunny weather we need to dry things out. To start out today, we're gonna go check the fields, give you guys an update on what everything looks like because it's been a while. Last time I went and checked the fields, everything was blooming. You saw blooming canola, you saw nice yellow sunflowers. Things look a little bit different now. Let's go check it out. So starting out the day like any good farmer will do and going to check the fields. We'll start with the sunflowers and the soybeans, roll into some canola and then the wheat. As I'm driving down this road, it is definitely pretty wet. The gravel isn't dusting and that's definitely a way to tell if it's dry. If behind the pickup there's a dust cloud, that means the gravel's pretty dry. Nothing. It's completely dustless. So I don't think we're going to combine today. It's probably going to be most likely getting some more servicing done, maybe disking some wet spots uh, that we weren't able to plant. So they're prepared for next year. But actually the great thing about farming, farm life is that a day in the life, there isn't really any typical day. Everything's a little bit different. It depends a lot on the weather, what needs to do for servicing, what the crops need. A day in the life, you can make a new video every single day on the day in the life because never the same two days in a row, which is one of the nice things about the job. So we'll start at the sunflowers. As you can see, not so yellow anymore. Not looking so happy, but this is exactly what we want. They're sagging. And like I said earlier, we got these boomers out here, which are essentially cannons shooting blanks. And they're here to scare the blackbirds away. Blackbirds are a big pest for the sunflowers. We may go check on the boomers today to make sure they all have the propane they need to uh, keep running and keep scaring away the birds. Beats going out there with a shotgun every day. Take a look at the actual head here. I'll give you guys a good look. So you can kind of see the sunflower seeds in there. I actually tasted one the other day. Not too bad. It is another windy day here in North Dakota. So hopefully you guys can hear me pretty well. These are the beans. Look pretty similar you can kind of see them yellowing just a little bit here's the little soybean pods a long ways to go on these still probably another month or two before we're even combining these and the sunflowers sunflowers are going a little bit faster than we expected soybeans seem to be right on track i'll run down now and check on the canola which is also drying up a lot and then we'll talk about some wheat these are the taller bunch of the sunflowers over here but I'm actually going across this little prairie road to check out the canola. We picked up a swath the other day of it. Pretty green still. A lot different than when you guys saw it yellow. Same concept though. These little pods, little canola seeds, but it's drying out, you know? This is already getting pretty ready to combine, but it'll be probably a couple weeks and we'll probably do the wheat first before the canola, but it's getting there. Drying out, just a little bit green still on those stalks. I'm gonna walk down this muddy, muddy prairie road over here to the boomer. Show you guys that, you can probably hear it. Back in the old days, probably would have a scarecrow out here to scare the blackbirds away. We've evolved, we have cannons. There it is, let's wait and listen for the boom. Oh, that was loud. I regret showing you guys that. We'll buzz down and check the wheat and then head into the yard for some work. This is what's kind of coming up next for combining. You can see we're starting to kind of 
fall over here. That's never a good sign though that we're gonna do any field work today. You're probably getting a day in the life of a farmer where it's too wet to actually be out in his fields. That's the name of the game, like I said. Every day is a little bit different depending on the weather, depending on the wetness, depending on where the crops are. All right, job number one kind of sucks, but it's part of the job. Like I said earlier, we're done with barley, and this bin, number 16 over here, is the one we put all the barley into. Now when we dump the barley in, it's obviously gonna be shaped like a little peak because we're dumping in from the very top. That peak we don't actually want there. We wanna shovel that flat. I'm taking one for the team, and I'm getting in the bin. Time to man up. The reason I say that I have to kind of man up is that barley dust makes me super itchy. It like gets in your clothes and it gets like in the elbow cracks and I even get like little rashes from the barley. The key is to just kind of not throw the barley around. You gotta kind of control the dust and just lightly push it so we don't create a big cloud and then get super itchy. Keep Sarah up all night in bed itching myself. All right, got the bad job out of the way first. It's all uphill from there. Look at that. We actually have some sun peeking through, which means we might get a little bit of field work in today. Maybe disking some wet spots. Definitely not combining it, it's too wet. We do have these fans hooked up on the bins, which dry out the barley. And we took the barley, as you saw in the last video, at 15.8, which is pretty good. Not too wet at all but we do want to dry that out. So I'll turn this fan on and this will do a good job of drying out the barley a bit. Yep, I'm gonna be itchy. Next up on the list is a little bit of combine servicing. So we have just the 9610. I said earlier we washed out the hopper and all that, washed the barley out. We gotta do that same thing, the 9760. The 9610 just needs a little bit of grease. We'll take care of that real quick and then clean all this barley and other grains out of the 9760 so we're prepared for wheat. The more preparation we get done today, the better we can just get after it, maybe Sunday or something when we actually can combine the wheat. So as you can see, a lot more sunny out, a nice wind blowing, it's starting to dry off. We're starting to think we will be able to maybe get that disking done today, maybe even combining, I don't know. But we did a lot of servicing on the combines, looked for some damage, took apart some inside of the 9760, because this rock came out of the rock trap, but it sounded like something a lot bigger was in there. So we examined that, greased the combine, put on some parts for the header, and then as you saw, washed the hoppers out and got ready for the next crop. So a lot of service work today around the yard, maintenance type of things. 
kind of waiting for this to dry off and it's starting to. Before we try to do some of this disking, I'm gonna let it dry off a little bit longer. The wind's going, the sun is out. Give it an hour or two and it'll be even drier. While I'm waiting for that to dry, be a good time to mow some lawns. Farmyard, farm life, you got a lot of grass to cut, a lot of property to take care of, and it's a good time right now. It's kind of harder to fit in mowings in the busy seasons of farming where you have harvests, you have planting, those different seasons it's harder to fit in cutting your grass and taking care of the lawn like a true dad would want to do. But I'm trading the big tractor and combine for this little guy right now. Our lawn usually takes one or two hours to mow with this thing. So I'm gonna knock that out, cut some grass, and then hop in the disc to get a little bit more done. For now, it's grass cutting time. grass is cut, Jordan's yard barber shop is closed for the day, and we're actually gonna go test the canola while my dad is out in the 9760. I'm gonna go test see if the canola is dry enough instead of the wheat. We're not sure what order they're gonna go in, but we're gonna send the combine out. If it's dry, I'll run the cart out to them. If it's not, I'm gonna go disc some of those wet spots like I talked about before, but wait on that word from him. Well, must have been too wet. He's coming home. We're gonna give it the official test with the grain tester here. So we're gonna choose our grain, canola. Get in there. That's the sample. Okay. The official reading. 13.9. Pretty close to the combine, too wet though. So it's about 6, 6.30 p.m. and we're headed out here to the field that we did in the last video where we were combining the barley, our last barley field. I'm going out with the disc. I don't know if you can see that behind me, but got the disc hooked up and going to tear up some of those wet spots where there's a lot of weeds. The disc does a good job of kind of chopping up the big weeds that are there. These are all the spots that we couldn't plant this spring because it was too wet. We kind of had a late planting season and didn't get a lot of spots because it was really wet, both from rain and from snow residue. So to try to prevent that for the next year, we're gonna go and try to dig that dirt up a little bit, chop those weeds. It's gonna help kind of dry out the ground and hopefully prepare for next year. Go for another hour or two and call it a day. Everybody, that'll do it for another video thank you for watching and this I guess is the day in the life of a 27 year old farmer what are the takeaways today well 
it's a very unpredictable type of job or career. You don't even know what you're doing each day most of the time. You just kind of play things by ear. So you gotta focus on the things you can control, work hard, and be prepared, right? So like we prepared the combine for the field today. Right now we're in the disc, we're preparing the field for next year already. You always gotta be prepared, you gotta work hard, just kinda take life as it comes, roll with the punches. Those, I guess, takeaways from a day in the life of a farmer. Thank you for joining me for another video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more great content. I'll see you guys later.